We are recording. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the June 8th edition of our Chaos Community Weekly Calls. Super happy to see everyone. As always, I love it. I love to see your faces and your avatars and your names in the room. So thank you for being here and taking your time out of your day to join us. The minutes are posted in the chat. So if you could visit those, that would be great and follow along. Um, and also, if you feel like adding your name, that would be fantastic as well. Let us know how you're doing and what's going on in your world. Um, let's see. So we have a short uh, we have a short agenda today, which is okay. We do have some chaos con planning to do, um, even though we're missing a few people from that committee. So I guess we'll have to decide if we want to go ahead and move uh, forward with anything. If there is anything that we can do. Um, I know Matt G is taking a few weeks off, so um, he will not be here today. I'm not sure about Georg. So, uh, Sean, what were you going to say? I think we settled everything we need to settle in the chat, but I'll hang out and see if anybody else is here. Yeah, me too. If there's anything pressing. Um, okay, so let's go on to the first item, which is simply a reminder about our open office hours on Mondays. Uh, it's morning time for some of us in the U.S. Um, will be obviously different time for others, but uh, we had our first one yesterday and Matt G, um, he staffed that, he hosted those hours and I have not spoken with him to see how that went. So I don't know how it went. Uh, we'll just say that it went amazingly well and it was super smooth and fantastic because that's probably how it went. Um, but if uh, it, you would like, oh, go ahead. It, it was, I was there. Um, oh, nice. I, I sat in for Matt like the last hour and a half so he could do some things. And <clears throat> there was Kevin Lombard showed up, but other than that, we didn't have any newbies yet, but we're going to keep doing it because it takes a little time to, you know, get your ratings up. Yeah, for sure. Um, and there is, we are keeping track of um, topics that come up as people come in and ask questions, if they come in and ask questions. Uh, so there's a doc there. Um, and then if you are part of the community and you would like to host, if you've been here for a while and you feel comfortable doing that, we would absolutely love that. Um, the link is also there in the, in the minutes so that you can um, just, all you have to do is just kind of hang out. And if someone pops in the Zoom channel, then uh, greet them, welcome them and answer any questions they might have. Uh, it's, it's not, I don't think super labor intensive, but um, you do need to be available for a couple hours. So um, yeah, feel free to add your name there. I, I saw a few people had already done that. Thank you, Sophia. And thank you, Vinod, wherever you are, even though you're not here. But um, if you, if Sophia, if you have any questions about it, let me know beforehand or if there's anything I can do. I think I sent you a, an invite for that day. Awesome, awesome. But if, if you need anything else, to prepare or just, you know, questions about it, just don't hesitate to let me know and we'll sort it out together because I don't know if I have the answers or not, but we'll find them together. So, um, thank you. yeah, no, thank you. Does anybody have any questions or comments about this idea that we're trying out? And like I said, the first one was yesterday, so it's super new for us. So if you've seen this done really well and there's something that you think we should add or do or not do, please let us know. I'm just gonna leave this open for questions about that for a second. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any, so we'll just go ahead. Um, the next one is uh, the OSS Open Source Summit and OSWOCon um, and also Embedded Linux, I think, is part of that conference as well. The, uh, CFP is closing pretty soon. So if you've not submitted a talk and you would like to do that, um, you should do that. <laughs> you should do that sooner sooner than later. Um, and if you have some ideas floating around and you're not sure um, how to put them in an abstract, or um, if you want someone to review the abstract you've already written and not submitted yet, we have many people on the call and in the community that would love to help you with that. Uh, a lot of veteran speakers, people who have a lot of experience. So um, we would absolutely love to help you. Just let us know, mm -hmm. give us a link to where we can read what you have or read your notes, or you could even pop it in Slack, whatever you're more comfortable with. 
So does anybody have any questions or, um, or anything about that conference? That's the conference that we are um, going to uh, piggyback with uh, for ChaosCon. So um, that is September 27th through the 30th. And the last day of the 30th is the day for the um, uh, add-on lo co-located events and the add-ons. And that's what we're hoping like 90% sure that will be included in that. So that will be on September 30th for Chaos Con, which is at the end of that conference. Uh, who has questions about this? Anybody? Okay, doesn't seem like we do. Everyone's so quiet today. <laughs> you know, my dog slept all morning. She did not get off the couch. I think it's just that kind of a day where everyone's just kind of, kind of tired. I know I am too. So let's, I guess, go on ahead. Oh, I did I drop a link to the, um, where you can submit your proposal. If you have not done that yet, the link is in the minutes. So, um, and that's kind of segues into chaos con planning. Like I said, it's, it's, we're 90% sure it's going to happen on September 30th. We're just waiting for some final confirmation from um, the Linux Foundation and um, just nailing out a few last minute details on how many rooms and what we're going to, how we're going to have them set up and things like that. So uh, stay tuned. We will, as soon as we have things confirmed, we will absolutely let everyone know. Um, and that's also going to affect how we do a CFP, if we do a CFP and what we what our, our format is. So um, we have a few things to nail down still, but stay tuned and we'll let you know as soon as we have those things, um, those things settled. And I think at this point, and someone on this call, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's only gonna be a half day on that day. Uh, so you will have time to travel that day or the next day for sure. So um, you can plan accordingly. And I think we are going to be planning something, um, some kind of social get together for chaos members and for, you know, our community who wants to connect with us in a, 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 a fun, informal way. But those details are definitely not even close to being <laughs> nailed down yet. So <laughs> um, just so you know, we are going to plan something <clears throat> fun, um, some kind of get together for us so we can um, so we can hang out if we happen to be there together. That would be great, I think. And I think, I think we're going to send chaos pony kegs to anybody from Europe who can't make it <laughs> so that you can join us for happy hour. And if you know sponsors <laughs> who would sponsor that, please let yeah. us know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to pay for that. That yeah. would be awesome. <laughs> I've got a question. So is yeah. there a way for someone like myself to um, become more involved in the, like help out with the planning of chaos con or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. We can add you to, there's a Slack uh, for, for the team that's working on it. We can add you to that. And then we've just been using the end. Of, by the way, welcome back, Matt. I should have had that as an agenda item. Congratulations to you, by the way. We missed you. We missed your face. We're really happy that you're back. Um, anyway, sorry. That was an aside. Okay. Um, yes, we can add you to that. What a critical and we've been one. Using, yeah. yeah, it was a critical one, right? We missed Matt. Um, we've been using the last half of these meetings uh, to, to work on that. So you can also just stick around and we can chat, um, but we'll add you to that Slack as well. Any other questions about ChaosCon WIP? Work in progress. You're muted, Elizabeth. Yeah, I just unmuted. Um, Okay, if we don't have any questions, then I guess we will move along. We are just plowing through these agenda items so quickly because we're just so incredibly efficient. It's That's also cool. June. We tend to have a light period in June, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, item number four, uh, the chaos survey. We, um, For those who don't know, we are doing an internal audit of our DEI practices and policies and uh, and such. And so part of that uh, review is uh, going to be a survey that we're sending out. Um, we've been working on it with our external collaborators who are experts in the field. And um, so just kind of keep your eyes open for that. We'll have more details for you upcoming, but it is getting pretty close. I would say within the next two, two to three weeks, maybe we'll be sending that out. 
to everyone in the chaos community. So if you would like to participate, we would absolutely love, 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 love for you to do that. And we will encourage you to do so. Um, so I don't have a ton of information besides that, but if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them at this time. If you want to ask. Yeah, I was looking uh, at you, Lawrence, <laughs> but you're shaking your head. So I think you're okay. I think you're good. So you answered the question. I didn't understand what the, what the context was just from looking at the meeting notes. Now I do. Gotcha. All right. Uh, let's see. I think what else do we have on here? Do we have anything? That's the last one. Ooh, Georg is adding something. There's GSOC kickoff week. Oh, officially. Yay. <coughs> officially. Are we, th are we through the uh, bonding period then? Or is it? We've bonded. We are full on bonded. Okay. No, we're at the end. We finished bonding last week and now we are in the summer of code. Yay. Awesome. Um, I think Yash is the only student we have on the call. But, the only um, GSOC student, yes. The only GSOC, that's what I meant. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Um, do we have any questions about how it's going or, or anything we want to talk about with that? Um, I, I suppose I'll mention we, that uh, two of the Gogger GSOC students are focused on risk working group agenda items to put some tooling around dependencies and distribution of metrics um so i'm pretty excited about that and i think i think that's going to have an effect on a lot of the things that we're doing i'm very excited about those students <clears throat> any other questions or comments Uh, I would like to to bring up uh, one of the uh, so for the for uh, Google Summer of Code one of the the tasks that uh, that our students are working on is automating the uh, translation process uh, through that uh, or the translation release that is uh, uh, through that work uh, we're really going to have to establish some of the the, the processes on how that translation is occurring, uh, how those, that repository is structured, uh, and how that repository is being maintained. Uh, so this is, this is just a little bit of a, a heads up to you all that that conversation is gonna, it's gonna be forthcoming, uh, and it's probably gonna require uh, a lot of the community to, to help us figure that out. Kevin, would it be helpful okay. if we set up a um, like an ad hoc uh, meeting time for people who are involved in that? Or how can we how can we as a community support you and the students that are working on that project? Uh, so we so we do have a uh, so we're going to create a uh, a Slack channel, and we do have a, a reoccurring meeting for these tasks. Uh, as far as when we bring this to the community. Uh, we haven't we haven't mm -hmm. discussed how we're going to do that yet. I imagine it'll be through issues, and perhaps we can use a portion of this uh, this call in the future to uh, discuss some of the specifics. Yeah, one hundred percent. You can have as much of the uh, the time as you all need because that's super important, and um, it's really going to be great to lay that groundwork for the future. So that would be amazing. Just let me know how, how I can help you or how the community can help you. And, uh, and by the way, uh, and by the way, Yash, who is on the call is, is taking lead on that translation automation. So. Go Yash, go. Thank Does you. anybody have, oh yeah, go ahead. No, no, that's all. Thank you. I really love the community. Well, we're really glad that you're here, Yash. So you've already done amazing work like already. And so we're just really happy to have you. Okay, um, I uh, think that might 
be the end. Do we have, um, oh, someone added actually a comment back at the kickoff week. Can we create Slack channels dedicated to each project? What do we think about that? I mean, I know people kind of don't like having 8,000 Slack channels, but you know, I don't know if it's helpful for the team. I think it's fine. It doesn't have to be, you know, for everybody. It can just be for that team. I think it's, it's fine. What do you all think? I actually did have a, a, a question about that in the, in the Slack channel the other day, uh, what the, what the process is for creating a channel, uh, public or private and what the process is for, uh, archiving or retiring channels because too many too many channels uh i think would add confusion what do others think about that sounds like a great thing to put in a public place so everybody knows how to do it Creating a channel should be pretty straightforward in Slack. Like Kevin, if you don't have the rights to do it, um, we can get you the rights to do it. And you just have to indicate if you want to be a public channel or a private channel. The, the question is, should we all just create channels whenever we need them? Or right. should there be a should be that there be an approval process where we want to limit the proliferation of of channels that are kind of being created as one-offs for you know a task. So there are, there does, are does anybody channels. have does anybody have best practices advice? I'm a create the channels until there's too many and they annoy me, kind of a person. <laughs> but but uh, I'm sure a more regulated edition of Slack would be welcome. Does anybody do this in their own organization in a way that would make sense? It does look like we have several <clears throat> Slack channels that that aren't being used currently. Uh, and there are those few, are easily archived. Yeah, and there are a few that I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they are. So maybe having a good naming convention would help here as we are creating new channels that we make sure they are very descriptive. And let's say for Google, some of code projects, if we start all of the channels with GSOC, then they're all grouped together in the alphabetical list. And after half a year of not using them, we can archive them or something like that. Is this something we need to document in our handbook or do we want to leave it a little less? Okay, Garrick is nodding, yes. <laughs> If you ask Georg that question, that's always the answer, by the way, in case you haven't <laughs> noticed. I mean, it's smart. I'm usually the kind that's like, ah, just create whatever. Like I like a low overhead, like a low barrier to, you know, just like do whatever you need to do to get the job done. So, but that's probably why, yeah, it would be a complete disaster spaghetti mess if I was in charge. So, <laughs> I mean, even if so. we said create whatever, we should probably still have that in the handbook too. I mean, Excellent there's, point, there's right. a low, a low risk to creating whatever, right? Because if people are actually actively using it on a regular basis, then it's useful for people and it should be there. If they're not, then we go through occasionally, we archive anything that hasn't been used in a while. And I think we can sort of self-manage it that way. Maybe as we're archiving minutes from the meetings, we can add, just kind of add that as something that somebody looks through and quickly archives or slowly archive, whichever. So does yeah. someone want to take a, oh, go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say, um, be careful with creating too many channels because then people can't find things and they start to get you know, annoyed and, and things look dead when they're not. Um, and so that's one reason why you know, trying to keep the channels down. A, a huge plus one to prefixes, that's one of the things that we um, required at PayPal because after we threw up Slack, we immediately had like 4,000 get created um, really fast, uh, like in months, like in a couple months, like boom. Um, and so by going in, one of the things that we did is we did go in and create, you know, from, this is all the inner sourcing stuff, by the way, 
um, is we did go in and do the prefixes so that everybody knew kind of what to go and would and could bounce over to their area and it came up easily alphabetically and on searches. Um, and uh, so another thing though that we've been talking about on our side um, is doing, we're actually gonna be doing a little um, map of things so that you can sit there and go, oh, here's this and here's their channels and here's this, because we ended up having, um, we made it a little bit too easy to create channels. And so we had a bunch of individuals create channels. <laughs> so like right now we have this one channel called iCar, which is some dude who just created a channel that he's never done anything with. Unfortunately, we're using um, Mattermost, which is good because then we have the team channel structure. So we can actually, we don't need the prefixes as much, but it also is um, deleting is a sysadmin uh, task. So, um, you know, just be careful with that because you can't overload your sysadmin on it but I'm talking larger concepts of scale than you guys. So, you know. No, I think it's an excellent point. I, I think it's a really, really good point because someday we will be as big as PayPal. So, you know, when that day comes, then we'll be ready. <laughs> okay, so does someone want to take an action item to kind of just document that out and add it to the handbook? Do I, do I have any takers? Or actually I should say document it out and like do a, a PR that we can all look at or even just a Google Doc? I can take that. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate that. Do you want to then maybe bring it to the team next week? With the next week? Yeah, meeting? I'll bring it. I'll bring a pull. I'll have a pull request before the next meeting. And okay. then we can discuss it next awesome. Tuesday. Awesome. So I'm efficient we are. Looking around for my pens. We can add that to the mean. Yeah, someone did that already. Awesome. Okay, what else do we need to discuss? The floor is open because we have a little bit of time. So the floor is open. How is everybody feeling about traveling again, possibly? Is it out of the question for Europeans or is it? How are people in North America getting ready? I booked my first flight yesterday, but it's totally personal travel. So I don't think we're gonna be allowed for corporate travel for a while. So September is gonna be quite a close call. Um, I think I'll know in September, I think they're kind of just delaying yep. policy changes until September. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a chance I can make it. And there's also a chance that they're like, nah, Google's been pretty <laughs> risk averse. Um, like my, my partner went back into the office this week, um, not full time, but still part time. And I've been told that we're still at the highest level of risk in Manhattan and we will not be going back until at least September. So yeah, I mean, that, companies two opinions. Yeah, density sort of makes sense that Manhattan would be a higher risk. I mean, his company's also <clears> in Manhattan, <throat> but he works for a company that really likes people to be there in person. A less, a less risk averse firm. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, in the UK, we're still not really allowed to travel. There's a very small list of countries that we're allowed to go to and none of them are particularly interesting, I guess. And, and the others we have to have, you have to have like a legitimate excuse to go there. So, and VMware has no business travel right now unless it's business critical. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for September, but we'll see. Uh, we, we, um, so we just went on our honeymoon. This is unrelated to work stuff, but this is travel. We just went on our honeymoon. We got a bunch of really cheap flights. And uh, we, something we realized is that some people are still like other, we went to like Boulder and Portland and Seattle. And we figured out that all these other places are still respecting the mask rules pretty well in nebraska they're not so it was kind of nice to see that's happening in other places at least i already have my flights for the summit and all things open so i plan to go i'm hoping to get to go but it's all dependent on when ieee starts to open up and so IEEE, it isn't looking like they're opening up anytime soon um, because they have so much international. 
Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen in regards to that. Cause unfortunately I have to go all the way up the chain to the top dog and get him to personally say, it's okay for me to go. So I might be able to do that for speaking engagements, but I don't think I'm going to get it for anything else. If I'm not a speaker, I really doubt, you know, anyone's going to say okay to that. Um, so that's that's the tough part and and we've got all that stuff coming up in europe too in like october and november and i'm just like ah, come on so don't know what's happening with dublin and france at this point i don't know if any of y'all are going to those two as well but you're talking about the open source summit the dublin one was moved to seattle oh I did not realize that. I had two events on my calendar. <laughs> <It's> gone. Because <laughs> yep. yeah, I heard you mentioned Dublin, and then I thought, I bet that's what she means. Yeah. yeah that's what, what I mean. I was Thank you. About. I was getting, I was like chatting with Emily, and I'm like, well, where is this? Well, which is this one? Well, where is this other one at? And is there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like three conferences now. So it's, it's okay. three, and then they're all in. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Don. I have to drop for another meeting. It was great seeing all of you. Nick, good to see you, Don. Bye. I missed something going out clarifying all of that as to when things got switched from one to the other. No, I I, I mentioned it at I think it was like two weeks ago. Um, it was it was way before. It was like maybe three weeks ago, and then they started announcing it. And then once we did the um, the not the CFP but the sponsorship stuff is when they gave us a clarification on it. So okay, yeah, it's, they've been rolling out like drips of changes to websites yeah. and sort of side communications. And yeah, it's <clears throat> it's a sticky. Wiki. It was a soft a soft announcement. Very soft. yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like I first heard about that like at least that they might be doing it before May. <laughs> so it's been a, it's been a little while, but um, yeah. Darn it, I was wanting to go see Denny. <clears throat> <laughs> I was all ready for Dublin. Okay, well, I still have to find out about, the French one is totally different. That's the French government, the open source program offices. It's a, it's a small niche one, but now it might end up being virtual or canceled. I don't know. <sighs> and I think we are planning on doing some kind of virtual component to the ChaosCon piece, just for those of you who can't get there because um, there will probably be a, a pretty large percentage of our community that can't make it so um, still details tbd but we are definitely going to have something for the for the others cool. all right do we have anything else to talk about before we dismiss y'all and stay on for chaos con planning I think we're good. Awesome. Awesome possum. All right, everybody, if you're um, on the ChaosCon committee, please stick around. Everybody else, have an awesome rest of your day, and we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Okay, do we, uh, what do we need to discuss? We don't really have a separate agenda for ChaosCon stuff. Maybe we should, I don't know. Um, at least I don't think we do, do we? No, I think we've just kind of rolled into what we're doing. I think we're settled on a half, <coughs> half day and we've requested the stuff as is outlined in the channel. Can you I don't know, I feel like we should have more to say quick. than that. Of course, the recording is coming to a first screeching.